Hi, I'm Dan Peterson. We're out here at the Iowa State University Sioux Cup Basketball Complex, and today we're going to take an inside look at the academic experience for Iowa State women's basketball players. Um, it's, he puts a big emphasis on it, starting from the recruiting process. That's our first question usually when we call coaches to, to follow up or to check out student athletes is what kind of grades they have. Um, he talks about it daily in practice, just reminding the student athletes um, what, you know, to take care of business, to make sure they're on top of it, um, to look ahead in their schedule. So it's something we talk about every single day and we're in close contact with the academic staff to make sure that they're taking care of business. You know, it's kind of the same thing. We, we check out early in the high school years kind of how they are so we know a little bit more about them coming in. When their transcripts come in before their freshman year, um, we're, we take a good look at that just to make sure we can uh, communicate with the academic people, with the academic advisors, and kind of when they look at it, they'll know key problem areas maybe that we have to be concerned about. So we're, we're trying to be pre, um, we're, we're trying to look ahead and know what to expect. And then from then on, we meet with them individually once a week, um, just so we have an idea of what's going on. Obviously, we can't talk to the professors, but we can be in contact with our academic people as well, just so we're all on the same page. And then in doing that, we're able to talk in meetings about who we're concerned about, um, hopefully not a lot of concerns, but who we're concerned about, and then you know how we're going to uh, put a plan together if anybody's struggling. Uh, I would describe my academic experience here at Iowa State uh, very well. Um, we get tons of help with the professors and everything, and they, they're always willing to help us when we need it. I mean, it's, the biggest thing is the student athletes taking the initiative to, you know, emailing our professors when we need to, and they're always more than happy to help us out. So, I mean, it's great. I'm so glad to be at Iowa State with all of our opportunities that we have and, um, in the Ames community. It's amazing the active community that we actually are. The resources that we have are the Hicks and Lee Academic Center, Success Center, and it's open pretty much 8 to 10 every night. There's always tutors in there willing to help us out and free printing, and we also have the, the basketball facility where we all get free printing and free internet access, and there's two computers here, as you can see, and it's, it's really it's a great resource because everyone uses it all the time. It's, it's great. And now we're at the Rod and Connie French Athletics Academic Center inside of Hickson Lead, where we'll talk with uh, a couple of student services uh, members that help student athletes with their schoolwork. My main role as an academic person with Iowa State women's basketball is to put them in position to succeed, and that is to make sure that they have a schedule that each semester will be conducive to them succeeding. Um, whether it be the right coursework, the, the timing of their classes, uh, making sure that they are in classes that do apply towards their degree, finding the, the, the right combination of courses that they can juggle during a very, very busy um, schedule, whether it be in the fall where they're more oriented towards practice and conditioning and training, or whether it is in the uh, spring where it's we have to balance the, the, the hard, the difficulty of, of um, men, the mental aspect of, of, of um, competing. In that. Uh, so a couple of things that I do to help student athletes with their academics is um, I travel with the women's basketball team and help monitor study hall. You know, maybe they, I might have to proctor an exam on a bus or in a hotel room on the road. Um, so we usually do that with women's basketball pretty much every road trip, so we do that uh, for about an hour each road trip. Um, I meet with a variety of students here in my office, have some workstations, and soon athletes come in, get some work done. We talk about where they stand in classes, you know, maybe talk about some concerns they have, help study for exams, um, basically just kind of serve as a resource, any help they would need. I'm willing to help them out as much as I can.